Uh, the Senate Committee on Culture and Tourism has criticized the poor funding allocated to the nation's tourism sector. The chairman of the Senate Committee, Senator Rochas Okoracha, during a budget defense session with the Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Lai Mohammed, said tourism has the potential to add foreign revenue to the nation's coffers, thus must be funded adequately. Senator Okoracha urged the Tourism Ministry to think outside the box in an effort to generate more internal revenue for itself as there is no guarantee there will be more funding available for its operations. Before this um, distinguished house uh, body too, sir, and after all our pleadings, what we got was a whopping 900 million cut from what was even proposed by the government. So, sir, I... And I'm sure that if that 900 million naira had been put back in our budget, it would have been a completely different story from what we are talking about today. So we are glad, sir, to have a committee that is willing to plead our case and support us. Uh, despite whatever constraints we had in 2019, um, our activities, sir, as you can see, sir, starting from page four, shows that we are very, very busy and we discharge our functions far beyond the poultry sums that was allocated to us. For us in the ministry, sir, it was more about passion and labor of love than actually, uh, you know, what was given to us. Whatever little was given to us, we were able to give a good account of us. Even, if, even if I say so, and I've said this with all sense of modesty. Good soup, now money maker. Mm. Uh, so, uh, if, if, if we go and put uh, 100 million, 200 million in tourism, at, at best, I think we're just uh, indicating our seriousness about the whole thing. So, if we want to make tourism and, uh, a, a means of livelihood for Nigerians and to create jobs and uh, uh, create uh, revenue, they will must fund it. We must make it a, a business. It's, it's a must do because it's obvious that all you can no longer meet our need, our yearnings for the development of our nation. But money is inconsequential when it comes to ideas. So one of the things I challenge you, uh, the Honorable Minister, is to say, listen, okay, we don't have money. Let's do this stuff something. Let's think outside the box. I say right now, we're, we're, our, our, our music industry is becoming the best in the world. Could we set up a day in 2020, collectively by all the Department of Tourism, and then start showcasing what we have, first to the world? I will have uh, Meet Mr. President program by all the, the artists, all the musicians, uh, all the likes of uh, Whiskey, Davido, and all these boys that pull millions of crowds, followership in social media, all over Africa and all over the world. I said they have a one big show in Nigeria. I will start advertising it. I will say, okay, listen, let's get it done. As I'm talking to you now, no money is involved. It's only a letter from the Honorable Minister of Information and Department to say, listen, we are inviting you for an award or for a handshake with Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I would dress up Mr. President in, in jeans that day with black goggles, looking, looking cute. And he goes to the stadium, and all these boys are here. Do you know how many people will come from Ghana? Do you know how many people will come from... Uh, South Africa, or Kenya, or Mali, to witness this event. We'll have nothing less than 100,000 people wanting to see their fans perform live and make it look competitive. What happens then? Each of these people will come with at least $5,000. When they come to Nigeria, they will buy biscuits, they will buy the charge card, they will stay in a the hotel, they will take transportation. Then you have brought into your country millions of, of dollars. I said, that is...